Hello, my name is Bentham and welcome to Factorio. So, um, I've been noticing recently that there have been a, f a few people asking, both on my channel and in other places, how to update Factorio. Um, and I just thought I'd run through the process to make sure that you are fully aware of, of the various ways in which it can be done. So first I'm going to cover how you do it in your actual game, and then I'll go on to how you can do it um, using the Factorio website. So, first of all, um, we're in the options menu of Factorio right now. And what we're going to want to look at today is the other section. So if we click in here, um, you can see there's all sorts of random options about various things, but the important things are these two here. So uh, this is check for updates when launching Factorio. If you tick this, it means that whenever um, you log into Factorio, it will check, as long as you're online, it will check that there is an update, well, whether there is an update available or not. And if there is, it will inform you and give you an option to update to it. And then all you have to do is, is um, choose to update and then it will do it. And it will also give you a change log and, and a couple of other things like that. Um, and then the other button is enable experimental updates. So um, first of all, you need to understand what an experimental update is. So um, at the time of recording, um, the stable version of uh, Factorio is 0.9.8. Um, and this is, update has been out for um, many months now, I think. It's been out since June, uh, something like that, or maybe sooner, I'm not sure. And um, this is the stable version. The reason for this is that it has had various mini updates done to it to fix any bugs and iron out any creases. And um, then it's been determined that there are, there are few enough bugs and um, the bugs are only minor mean it so that you can um so that it's entirely safe to play and you don't need to worry about crashes more than you would need to worry about in any other game um and then the experimental update at this current time is not point ten specifically not point ten point six um which is probably going to be become the stable version at some point so it's experimental because it's not yet been fully tested basically when a new update comes out it is in the experimental phase and then it will go through various uh, mini updates until it is deemed safe enough and then um, 0.10 will become the stable version so if you don't enable this you will not update beyond 0.8 no 0.9.8 at the current time also i'll use annotations to to tell you what the current um, current versions are rather than these because of course time will move on and they will change so if this isn't ticked then you will stay in the stable update but the thing is you know that, uh, at a certain point you can the the uh, experimental updates become basically stable um, it, it's your opi your opinion of stability can be entirely different from that of the developers they have a very high standard so for example I've been in the 0.10 update since it was in 0.10.1 as soon as they'd done the first bug fix which would get rid of any major bugs now of course there are dangers with this for example in 0.10.3 they accident no sorry not 3.4 they uh, in, it accidentally created a bug which caused a lot of problem for um, advanced games, the uh, games where you had been going for um, a good 20 hours or whatever. So yeah, um, and uh, so if you had a file that was that um, old, then you would you wouldn't really be able to play it. You'd have to make a, a huge number of changes to your game so that certain situations could not occur and, and set off the crash. Um, they fixed this quickly, of course, um, uh, like a few days later with a, a mini bug fix, but that shows how the experimental thing goes. Um, it's possible that the update will cause some sort of big crashing problem. So if you really care about not crashing, then stay in the stable version. Otherwise, you want to enable experimental update, which means that every time there is an update, and they usually happen on Fridays, you will get a notification when you um, go into Factorio telling you that there is an update and asking you if you want to update to it. And it's as simple as that. If you keep those two checked, then you will always be on the latest version of Factorio unless some sort of error occurs with the updating system. And of course, with this being an early access game, it has an early access updater. So um, things like that can happen. So now I'll, I'll discuss how to um, use the website to update should this system fail. So um, you can see on the main page, um, uh, at the moment I'm logged in. Um, I'm logged in with my um, YouTube name, Mangled Pork. And um, basically, that's that's how you access um, updates. So if you're not logged in, you won't be able to see them because, of course, you're not. You, you need to log in so that they know that you have purchased the game. Otherwise, it would just give you options to to play the demo or buy the game. So um, if you bought the game, log in, and then you will be able to access the downloads button that you can see right here. 
So if you click on the downloads button, you will go to this page. So this shows you the uh, all the current stable updates, all the, the final iterations of them. So it's got 0.9.8 and below it, it has 0.8.8 .8 and so on and so forth. It also has the demo versions if you want to see, if you want to play those. Um, so you can see there's various different options and I'm going to go through the, the Windows ones because I know about the Windows ones and I, I don't have a, a Linux or a Mac so I wouldn't know about those things. So you can see there's four different options. We have 32-bit and 64-bit and then we have XE install, installer and zip package. So the way the XE installer works is it, pro it, it installs a proper copy of Factorio. This is how the developers prefer you to install um, Factorio initially. So if you use that, it will install it onto your system. If you have a 32-bit system, then use that one. If you have 62, you can use that. So um, it will put it properly in, and so like your save files will be in uh, the program files fol folder that will be in your computer somewhere, and things like that. Um, but the other option, the zip package, um, means that you can have multiple versions of it. So for example, um, because I want to get the, the experimental updates as soon as possible, um, of course there is always the danger of crashing, so what I do is when a new experimental update comes out, I will download the zip package. So what this will do, it will create a version of Factorio in a folder which you can put anywhere. So I just put it in uh, downloads because that makes sense. Um, and then I can put a shortcut on the uh, on my desktop to it and, and go to it through that way and then I'll change the name of it to say what version it is. Um, now, if you're, if if well, um, if you have some old versions of Factorio where you've done that, you will find that they do they have a broken, um, a broken symbol on the the desktop. The proper version of Factorio will have the the proper cog, the gear thing, whereas the uh, a zip package, um, because of some sort of bug that they had, it will just be like a generic um, image instead. Um, they fixed this in uh, not point ten point five or possibly point six. I think they they tried to fix it in point five and it didn't quite work or something. But um, if you're if you, you you're watching this video shortly after it's come out, you may be able to use that for reference. So you can download a zip package um, to have a second copy of Factorio, um, and then um, if you want if you use the XE installer, it will not modify those zip files. It will take the proper copy of Factorio that you have that's in program files and it will update that. So if you've ever tried updating and it said it's updated and then you've gone into your game and it's not, it may be because you're currently playing through a, a zip package rather than the uh, the main game uh, installed by the installer. And there you go. So you can see that this um, that next to the download button we have the experimental release button. Um, if you click on that it will give you the latest um, experimental versions and of course I've, I've explained this to you before and at the moment it is showing 0.10.6 of course that is the, the most recent but that's probably going to be declared the stable release a week after this um, video is coming out um, at which point it will move over to the normal download thing and then experimental release will not have anything in it until they bring out um, 0.11 and uh, then they'll go from there and that's how it works so I hope I've covered everything there and if you have any any questions or if, you, if you're still having problems with this advice um, just put it in the comments below and I'll add it in in the form of annotations and things like that and um, and try to address anything that I've missed in that way so um, that is a, a short guide on how to update fact well it's a long guide really on how to update Factorio and the various ways that you can do it so I shall say goodbye thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.